Okay, update on the Corsair. I've been doing some work with her, and I got the landing bay doors done. Again, earlier video, I showed you that was fine, but this was not. There was a big gap in the door right here. I took that piece of sheet styrene right there, cut it to fit in this compartment here, and on the matching side here, let's just turn her this way, okay? There are, I'm doing a little bit of fill work there because it's not 100% level, and I don't think I'm going to get it 100% level, and I'm going to quit trying. They are landing bay doors, how, however, and looking at the um, my reference photos, they're not a real good fit in the reference photos, okay? Now, I've been working on detailing the cockpit some. You can see the chopped up chair, and I think that looks a lot better than that rectangular chair did in there. There's going to be nothing I can do about the hole because I've already assembled the model for the cockpit tub. There is no cockpit tub. And around the chair, you can see I took some of the pieces of styrene that were left over from cutting that panel right there and just kind of greebleed around the seat. Okay? So it has some texture on that wall behind the seat. Now that, that's a sci-fi thing. That's not really a fighter plane thing and I'm not going to try to get that 100%. I'm just trying to add some interest to the eye. Here's my little pilot. Put him in there. And you can see he's going to look fine, although he is crowding the front of the canopy pretty tightly. Next up is getting the instrument panel done. And I get that done taping and masking that canopy, which is going to be a trick because the mold lines are on the inside of the canopy, not the outside, and I'm used to using the mold lines to cut my masking with. So that's going to be a fun little thing to do some masking with. And again, there's a nice close-up of my canopy. And it does remind me of Ace. So, you ought to get a kick out of that. Well, there you go. There's my short update. I'll be back once I get the instrument panel in so you guys can see what I did with it. I will show the steps I'm following as I make that. All right, back in a bit. Okay, I started working on the instrument panel that I'm making for the Corsair. Okay, now that thing right there is a printout, a paper printout that I made with my computer. It's not a decal. And then I use some white PVA glue to glue that down to that piece of styrene, okay? Then I cut the piece of styrene out. Let's see if I can get back on camera here. Then I cut a little triangular support piece for it. And you'll notice at the back there's some styrene nubs there to help reinforce this triangular piece. What I want to do, let me go back and zoom out a little bit. What I want to do is round that over now. I'm trying to decide if I want to round that over with a piece of sheet styrene or just give it a try with some Aves epoxy. Only problem is if I use sheet styrene it'll be nice and smooth and round. I just have to cut the styrene to fit that properly. If I, I haven't really worked with Aves too much. I've used it once or twice but never for a purpose like this. So I'm kind of hesitant to try the Aves plus I'd rather try my skill playing with the sheet styrene. I kind of think that's fun. Okay. So I think I'm going to try the sheet styrene first. You can see right there is the prototype I'm cutting out of paper. I'm going to cut that out of paper and cut it to fit so it fits on there. And then cut the sheet styrene. And then I can do some seam filling if I need to. But I don't think I'm going to need any seam filling if I do this correctly. And you can see the back of the cockpit where I did the detailing the other day. I'm not going to glue the figure in until I get this instrument panel done. But just this instrument panel alone is going to improve the looks of this model dramatically over what it was. You will be able to look in there and actually see some gauges there, which is something you couldn't do before. And I think alone what I did with that seat improves it a lot. Even though I wasn't 100% even. And putting a pilot in there improves it even more than that. So this is where I stand on the Corsair. 
and I hope to have this done by the weekend. I took the canopy for this and dipped it in Future to make it really clear. I need to go remove it from the paper towel because I'm sure that Future's just glued that sucker to the paper towel by now. And I really don't want that. I know how to clean it up. Just remember if you use Future that pure ammonia will thin Future. So if you get anything stuck to a canopy you don't lock, like after you dipped it in Future, you can just take some ammonia on a damp piece of paper towel and just wipe it right off and it comes right off. So if you get any overruns or some spray marks where you got the future a little too thick, there's a hint for you. Ammonia cleans it off. Well, anyhow, I'm rambling. I will be back as soon as I get that rounded off and cut. Okay, a short clip about the Corsair. I started painting the back rail, but you can't really see that because of lighting. Let me move it. Now you can. I need to work on the paint a little bit. It's just not where I like it to be. I've gone ahead and glued my little instrument panel on and I cut out a piece of styrene. Ooh, bad camera angle. Sorry about that, but I, it's kind of hard to do this with one hand. I cut out a piece of styrene and I have cut it to fit on there and it fits on there almost perfectly. The windshield fits on there with that on. I'm just trying to figure out how to glue that thing on there because it's a curved shape. I've been sitting here for five minutes running it between my fingers to bend it. Just enough so that it follows the contour of the instrument panel. It's not sitting on there right, but if I take both my pants, I can get it sitting on there perfect. So, it looks like I'm going to do this with the styrene. That is my second try at it. The other try is right there. I end up cutting off a little too much when I was trimming her down. You can see all the little pieces I've trimmed laying around my workbench. But there you go. I've almost got that done. I'll be back when she's done and the pilot's glued in. All right, everybody. This is where we sit with the Corsair. I got the plastic on there got the cockpit in there I might have gotten it wet and it might have melted what I put on there a little bit I won't know until I get a magnifying glass and get a good look at it but you can see that is a huge improvement over what we had before canopy still fits on well too the reason that spots white is once this glue set up this paint sets up I'm gonna put a little heads-up display in there glue the pilot on paint that gray again a little bit to clean that up and I'm sealing up the interior I need to mask the canopy yet too but I'm about ready to seal up this interior and call that done so again you can see that is a massive improvement over what was there it was just flat straight across there okay and yeah it got a little wet but it's still kind of legible you can still see it so there we go that's what i've done to fix the interior she's almost done once i get that canopy masked in honor she's gonna be ready for some paint